The easiest way to describe what the Aftermath campaign is, in the context of Gears of War 3, near the end of the game, Marcus and Dom go off in one direction toward Azura, and they send Baird and Cole off to find some supplies. All right, Baird, Cole, you go find reinforcements. We need transport, weapons, and anyone who can fight. It just so happened that they went to Havel Bay to go find those reinforcements, and so we had all the pieces kind of put together, and it was like, you know, let's go tell that particular story from Gears 3. You run into Paddock, who's one of the new characters in Judgment, because he's still hanging around that city. Only cog soldiers are this noisy. Paddock? That sidearm can go back where you found it. I think it's really neat to see Paddock inserted into this point in the timeline of the Gears story. And it takes you back, and I think it's a point in time that everyone's gonna be excited to see. Ultimately, it's a reward for fans. Paddock is a Groznian guy. He's kind of the grizzled veteran, former UIR soldier, right? So yeah, he was opposing the COG in the Pendulum Wars, and then when the treaty was signed, right around the time of Emergence Day, he came over to fight for the COG. Again, it's just a continuation of the story, and just peeling back the, the onion layer just a little bit deeper to see what else happened during that traumatic time. We built Aftermath in as an unlock. And so to unlock it, you earn stars. When you play through the main Judgment campaign, you're scored every section that you play through. We have a series of three stars that you can earn. You earn those stars by, by getting ribbons, you know, headshots and executions and those kinds of things. Also just by playing through the mission. If you take a declassified mission, that will boost your stars. The declassification system changes the way that you play. It's an optional system that you can choose that'll actually add challenge and make it even more in intense than, you know, than it previously was. It also changes the testimony and changes the way that the story is told. The dust gunk things up pretty good, and the grubs were going in for close kills. Basically, I know. The very core, the very foundation of what we're trying to do in Judgment is all built on intensity. What led up to that is we had a lot of feelings that games get a little bit too easy these days, right? It's more about the, the experience as opposed to the challenge. To make it more intense is some specific things that we did. One of those is the smart spawn system. And so this was a whole thing that we engineered so that when you get into a battle, when you come into an encounter, what you face will be different every single time. You might play through once and get, you know, tickers and maulers as you kind of like lay back and then you, you play through again and you push forward and now you have wretches and, and different enemies flanking you. So lots of just, lots of uh, intensity happening in this game. The systems like the smart spawn system are really cool for us as designers. I mean, yes, it's a challenge because it forces us to think in a different way. Uh, in the past, we could always say, okay, X, Y, Z is gonna happen. And then hey, when this ticker explodes, then the door is gonna open and a boomer's gonna walk out and we can script that experience. So it forces us to rethink uh, a lot of the combat scenarios. In a way, I really like that because it gave us the ability to put more story and more context into the environments and into the world itself, which really helps bring the universe to life a lot more. And I think that's a much better story than anyone we could ever tell because it's a story that the player themselves gets to tell and experience. For us, it's a process of evolution. We don't want to just give the same experience over and over again because that's really an injustice to the fans. And we want to make sure that we're delivering something that's progressing, not just both from a, from a story standpoint, but from a franchise standpoint, but also from a gameplay standpoint. Thank <laughs> you.